Hello everyone. Welcome to another new exciting tutorial. Today we gonna be making this space background. Step by step. I will show you how to create your own lights, and combine it, with a background. Let's begin. First of all we will open a new window, and chose the same options RGB, as you see, Make sure the page dimension is horizontal, and hit create. Now we will create our basic gradient, go to toolbar and choose rectangle tool. Turn off the stroke, below here. Hit on gradient icon. Over here, on the right side, click on gradient to adjust it. Click on reverse. Double click on this color point and click on swatches, chose dark blue. Double click on this color point. Click on this icon, to adjust the colors correctly. Change the last value to 44. Double click on this color point. Do the same steps again, but this time chose the pink color and change the values as well. Click somewhere to get rid of this little window tool. Now we will adjust the gradient we made. Once you've done that, make it smaller and set it aside we will need it in a bit. While the gradient is selected, go back to toolbar make another rectangle as a basic background. Okay, now make a little adjustment. Like this should be fine, now go to layer, if you can't find yours, then go to window above, active layer, now on the left side of toolbar open layers, drag and drop the background layer to all the way down, and lock it, so we won't be messing up with the other layers. Right. Now is time to make our lights. Go to left toolbar, and chose ellipse tool. Make sure that it's on radial gradient. Now drop and drop the colors on the gradient. Change some values, as you see. I will zoom in this part, so you can see what is going on. Set this light aside. Now we will make another one. Select this light, make another copy out of it. Go back to gradient again. Now just remove the white color, we don't need it for this one. Let's create more lights and particles. Select the first light we've made, go to edit, copy and paste it. Bring it somewhere on background. Keep the first copy light as a spare one, if you need it later. Now resize the light, to make quick copies of the light, just press and hold alt on keyboard, the click and drag it away. While you're making some new copies of the light, 
then resize in a different sizes. I will speed up the video a little bit, you don't have to wait that much. Make as much as diversion and various sizes from those lights, big, small, medium. After you done with that, now select all the lights, resize it a little bit. While the lights are selected, go to right toolbar, click on symbols. Then drag and drop it into the symbols window, and rename it as a light one. Set it aside, in case if you need some changes. Let's do the same steps to our second light. Select the light, go to edit, copy it, then, paste. Now resize the light, to make quick copies of the light, just press and hold alt on keyboard, the click and drag it away. Again, select all the lights. Then drag and drop into symbols. Name it as a light too. Now select the first light group we made, light 1. Then go the left toolbar, and select, spray tool, or shift plus s on keyboard. Now start spray everywhere you want. This is step 1, now go to right bar, then click on transparency, and change from normal to color dodge and turn opacity little down and now go layers and lock the light layer now go on again do the same step with spray tool change opacity again and lock the layer as well. Now choose the light too. Change it to color dodge, and change the opacity. and lock the layer as well. Choose spray tool again, add select the light one again and spray over it. Sometimes it's good to resize it, and make it very tiny, as it presents the far little stars.
Make sure the basic gradient is selected. And now make another layer by using rectangle on top of all the layers. Go to gradient window, change it to radial, and reverse it. Go back to transparency, then play with layer, and chose the layer you want. By changing from normal to other options. Make sure the top layer is selected, and play with gradient, by double click on little color point make some color correction or changes. If you are satisfied with it, then leave it as it is and unlock all those layers again. And now make a new layer by using rectangle tool. And select all the layers, then right click, and chose, make clipping mask. This clears up, and crops all the extra layers. Now delete the objects we made, because we don't need them. This was it again for now, certainly more is on way to come. Do you need this project, to practice on it? Then let me know on a comment below. Thanks for watching. See you next time.